The turret of the Centaur 2, the Itfak 2 turret, has been just qualified last year by the Italian Army, and last year Leonardo has signed the first bench of the series production contract. I want to emphasize that Leonardo was the first in the world to develop a weapon system with the same fine power of a main battle tank, the 105, able to be installed on a 8x8 vehicle. And now we are the unique in the world to be able to install a 120 with the same fine power of a main battle tank, able to be installed on a wheeled vehicle. So now the weapon system, the Itfact Mark II, is qualified, is in production, and uh, most important, is was qualified by another country, the Italian Minister of Defense. The most important of the Itfact II turret is modularity. For the firepower, for example, we are able to install a 105 mm cannon or 120, according to the end user requirement. Also for the Q, we have a big flexibility because the turret can be equipped with a crew of three, commander, gunner, loader, plus the automatic loading system, as for the Italian Army configuration, or a three-man turret with a manual loading system, or just two, commander and gunner, plus an automatic loading system. Uh, it's important to have a big flexibility to achieve the end-user requirement. For both cannon, 105 or 120, Thanks to the capability to have a low recoil force cannon, uh, we are able to install the Hitfuck March II on wheeled vehicle, 8x8, or tracked vehicle. In this way, we have a medium tank. Usually, the weight of this system is between 25 tons up to 40 tons. Everything, obviously, is related to the ballistic protection. The concept of a tracked medium tank is very important for the mobility. You have the same fine power of the modern main battle tanks, but with a very higher mobility, tactical and strategical. So you can move on bridge where a standard main battle tank cannot. For the heat fact turret, we want to have a transfer of technology to the Polish company, as we already done for the heat fist medium caliber turret. Uh, we are hoping to collaborate with the local company, also to integrate a uh, different system inside our turret, thanks to an open architecture. Leonardo has a huge experience in the know-how transfer, and we are hoping to discuss it again with uh, our partners.